Hi everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new video. You know that old saying, uh, a bus doesn't come along and then all of a sudden half doesn't turn up. That's what's happened in the last two days. Yes, I've had some posts delivered. Um, I've had some subscriber, a huge ton of subscriber mail, some steel books and packages from overseas and some packages from here. This is a picture of the whole mail uh, haul that uh, has come in the last two days. So there's going to be some videos this weekend. So let's get started. I'm going to get started with these. Uh, which are some deliveries of steel books and um, yeah, and to, and to do with steel books as well. Okay, so um, let's start on this lot. <sighs> Blimey. Okay, so we're going to start with this one here, which actually arrived this morning. I know what this is. I'm so glad it's not a steel book. <laughs> Because we just came back from shopping, Dad opened the front door and walked on it. <laughs> I thought, oh no, I hope that's not a steelbook, but it's not. But uh, this comes from Steelbook Central, so you probably have an idea what it is uh, if you uh, buy steelbooks. <sighs> All in one. Yes, it is a load of steelbook protectors. Yeah, SC3 Steelbook Slip Cover Protectors, a pack of 10. So I just needed a, a few extra ones for my Steelbooks. So that's awesome. So there we go. So that's those. Uh, this is one from the UK. This is one that I've been waiting for for a couple of days now, and more like a week or so. Uh, and I couldn't find it on the Blu-ray hunt. I think it was last week when I went blu-ray hunting on on a wednesday yeah you'll see in a minute um and uh yeah i think they only had one copy in or something and they sold it anyway i'll under it and we can see what it is i hope it's got a slip cover uh, okay so it feels very light has it got a slip cover yes it's got a slip cover now, yes, fantastic. It is Wednesday. Yes. Yeah, I went Blu-ray hunting on a Wednesday and they never had Wednesday. <laughs> it's a slim case. Okay, so it's the first time I've seen this because, uh, of course, they didn't have it in stock. I like that. I like that. Yeah, that's really nice. It's got some spot gloss. Oh, here he goes. On a bet is bloody spot gloss and embossing. <laughs> Yeah, really nice. Love this show. Can't wait for season two. Yeah, slim case there. I will do a little unboxing for you just in case you haven't seen it as, um, you know, in any other in other, any other videos. So there is the back. I've got a funny feeling. I've got a feeling this might be an eco case. If I remember some chatter in the Big Pauly group. Uh, if it is, it doesn't matter because I do have a couple of slim cases. No, I don't. Oh, I don't know. I might have. <laughs> I'll have a look. Let's have a look, see what we got. What's here? Okay, how many discs we got? Okay, yes, I can see. Look, there you go. The old eco case. Oh, I thought there was going to be more, more in here. So uh, at least it's only two discs, so it's not too difficult to get hold of a, a replacement case. Yeah, I don't want to put my finger through that. Thank you very much. You're not really saving much. What, a couple of splinters? A couple of, a couple of splinters of plastic? You're not saving the world, mate. Yeah, just give us an, a complete bloody case, for God's sake. I tell you what, I saw a video the other day. A uh, couple of YouTubers went into uh, one of these American fast food chains. I don't know what it was. I don't think it was McDonald's. Um, they bought one of those fraps, um, you know, like a, a frothy coffee ice vanilla sort of thing. It had a plastic cup, a plastic domed lid and a paper straw. What the bloody hell is that? What's the point? What is the point in that? 
This video is turning into a rant video. Dumb ass, inconsiderate ass, you stupid twat. <laughs> oh dear, I don't get it. I hate plastic, uh, I hate paper straws. I know we're supposed to be saving the world, but what's the point doing it if you're putting plastic on every other sod? <laughs> Oh dear me, maybe I shall just do a plastic rant. <laughs> okay, so there we go. So that is Wednesday. So really happy that I've got that one. Absolutely ecstatic. Yes, let's put that up there. Okay, next up we have a couple of steel books. Uh, I bet you'll think, why on earth are they sending them in packages like that? Yeah, uh, well, I opted for gift bag option for extra protection. One came from Amazon UK, so you bet your ass I'm going to be using a bag in this, because you know what happened with my last lot of steel books from Amazon. And one of them came from Amazon Italy. Um, usually I get steel books from Italy in better condition than I do in the bloody UK. But uh, we're going to unbox these. One of them stars... Well, I won't tell you. Let me just let me just get into them and then we'll see anyway. Because I am very curious about one of them uh, because I've been waiting quite a while for it. And I had a mishap with this film in different versions that I had still books off that I had to send back to Amazon. Right, here we go. Oh, almost. There we go. OK, so... Obviously, the usual um, Amazon shit that goes in there. It's probably a gift voucher. Or, no, it's not. It's a, it, one of those stupid leaflets. There we go. And it comes in a nice little bag. Nothing else in there. So, buy rubbish. Okay. And we have a nice little gift tag there. And, um, yes, I will save that for Christmas. <laughs> That's what I'm going to be doing this year. Every time I want to buy a steelbook from HM, HMV, from Amazon... I'm going to use the gift bag option. Do you know why? Saves me wrapping any sodding wrapping paper at Christmas. I can just pop something in right on the tag. Done in 10 minutes. Yeah, I know I'm cheap. OK, and look, we've got a nice little gift bow as well. I don't want to undo it. OK, how would you get this sod open? I can't even get it open now. Oh, dear me. That is tight. That's what she said. <laughs> My God, I can't find the opening. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. I will find it in a minute. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> oh, right, okay. There we go. Okay, right. <sighs> Moment of reveal. I don't know which one this is, by the way. It could be the Italian one or it could be the English one. It's the English one. It is Ronin with Robert De Niro on 4K Steelbook. Uh, the only options in the UK, I think, were for 4K was the 4K Steelbook or a media book. Uh, I didn't really want the media book. Uh, and I'm a Steelbook slag. You know I am. You slag. So I love my Steelbooks. And uh, I didn't have this in 4K. I think I have this in the premium collection. So I'll probably be selling that. Yeah, but there we go. Um, we will unbox it because what's the point in watching the video if I'm not going to unbox it and then see the dents and then you'll all laugh. <laughs> OK, right. Peel it away. And don't forget, this is the one that came from the UK. Right. OK. So, oh, so we have a nice front there. There we go. So really nice artwork there. OK, now you've got five minutes of me talking about Matt, gloss, emboss, deboss, and dense. <laughs> oh dear. You've got a nice little title down the bottom there. Hang on, let me just zoom in. There we go. And there is the spine. And look, uh, can you see a spine slash anywhere? No, that's good. And then we have the back there. Ah, oh, this is a good film. I love this film. It's a funny film. Not a funny film, a fun film. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. It's been a while since I've seen it, though. Right, OK. Now then, let's just remove the back. I'm not so much nervous about the front these days. It's the back, because even though it's got a J card on, my bloody luck most of the time is to take the back off and there's a sodding dent. 
Not this time though. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay. Oh, I love the backing on that. There we go. So that is the steelbook. And there is the back. Very nice. And we have image all the way around. If you hear a shushing noise, like a shh, 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 bang, shh, 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 bang. Next door's doing the hoovering. <laughs> and I can hear the hoover banging on the skirting board. Why do they call it a skirting board? It doesn't wear a skirt. Yeah. Okay. And we have two discs. There we go. And some artwork of Jean Renan. Fan bloody tastic. Right, okay, so there we go. So that is my Ronin steelbook. I don't have to worry about that one. So no sending that all the way back to the UK and them saying, we can't order you another one, we'll have to refund you. Yeah. yeah. Right, this is the one from, oh, hang on. I, I am nervous. I am nervous as crap, seriously. I've had more trouble with this film getting a physical copy. Oh, dear me. Right, okay, let's do it. Right, maybe if I peel it off in one go, it'll be a good luck charm. Ooh, now we're cooking. Okay, and we have the same colour bag as well. And we also have one of these things. Oh, it's a bigger one. Okay, out it comes. Oh, we got a nice different coloured bow. Look at that. We got a nice yellow one. We got a much bigger bag. Flipping Nora. Well done, Amazon. It means I don't have to go and fork out bloody mon money on bloody wrapping paper this year. <laughs> it's got two bows on it. Flipping now. Right, okay. Again, I've got to try and find the hole. Okay. I'm not complaining that it's not easy to get into, but I suppose they didn't want it falling out and falling out the bag. Not that it would anyway. All right, there we go. Okay. I'm nervous. I am nervous. This is what collecting steel books does to you. It, look. <laughs> oh. 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 It's Wonka. It's a Wonka 4K steel book. Yes, there's three versions of the Wonka steel book that we know of anyway. You've got the UK version with the brown... Uh, the little chocolates on the front and it's got some nice embossing and debossing. That is nice. That's a really nice one. I think it's sold out most places. The one that I originally went for was the uh, Amazon UK with Timothy Sh Chalamet. Yeah, not Chamelay, Sham Chalamet on the front, tipping his hat. Uh, and that's the one I had trouble with. So I had two damaged ones and I couldn't get another one. And they refused to send me another one out. Yeah, well, I saw this one and I thought, that's really nice. That looks gorgeous. It's just chocolate. Chocolate, that's it. Yeah, so there we go. So that's the Italian one. So uh, let's uh, let's get into this. Right. Oh, okay. So we have a matte finish with some spot gloss. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh I like that. Yeah, so there we go. There's a chocolate. See that that one there? That's got a nice bit of spot gloss on it. The title's got some nice spot gloss on it. Oh, I love that. Oh, I'm, I'm hungry. I want some bloody chocolate. <laughs> so there we go. So that's a limited edition steelbook. Uh, and then there is the spine. Hang on a minute. Let me just... Okay, so you can get a good look. There we go. Uh, you can see that. There's the title at the top there. Oh, look, we have... Wonka on the top there, and we have a nice spine there, Wonka, with some chocolates on there, and spine slash, no, no spine slash, okay, there is the back, obviously it's all in Italian, so if you're Italian you can read it, if not, tough, uh, you know pretty much what's on there anyway, 
Does it come with the, it does come with the Dolby Atmos, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Dolby Atmos. Fantastic. OK, right. Moment of truth. Flipping Nora. I'm an absolute nervous wreck. So that is it. That's what you need to do, people. If you want to order a steel book, it's perfectly okay to order a steel book. Hang on a minute. I'm still fuzzy. There you go. Yeah, if you want to order a steel book, it's perfectly fine ordering a steel book through HMV or Zavi, because pretty much the packaging's good. So if you want to buy a steel book, always use the gift bag option. I was going to go, ba bum ba bum ba bum Always use the gift bag option. ba bum ba bum ba bum ba bum Ah, yeah. Anyway, yes, I'm definitely doing that from now on. So there we go. Lovely steelbook. And it goes all the way around to the back. And look, we've even got chocolates all the way around the side. It's like someone's got a blank steelbook and just dipped it in a load of chocolate. Oh, that could be a new one, couldn't it? The lickable version. <laughs> <laughs> just cover the whole thing in chocolate okay uh oh that's nice yes uh we don't have much of an interior we have just the, like the wonka logo that goes right across the same as that but in chocolate uh, but then we have the two discs there one's the 4k one's the blu-ray but yeah i am i am very happy with that totally happy with that and uh yeah, I really like that. Fantastic. So there we go. So that was a very successful mail undoing. I can't believe it. Brilliant. OK, I suppose it happens every now and again. There we go. So that is the uh, the bits that I received. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like it by giving it some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. And always remember, if you're ordering still books from Amazon, always use a gift bag. <laughs> I put that on my bloody tombstone. Paul, he always used a gift bag. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you on the next video very soon. Bye bye.